Governor Baker leaving public office, but not the public eye. We learned today he's going to be the next president of the NCAA. And as WBC's Beth Germano shows us, this job could actually be even more challenging than the one he has right now. When he decided not to run for re-election, Governor Charlie Baker says a call from the NCAA to run the organization was the last thing on his mind. The more I got into the conversation with them, the more I thought it was, um, it was something where I thought it could be helpful. And help is what many believe the NCAA is desperate for now in the changing landscape of college athletics. Smith College economist Andrew Zimbalist calls it a Herculean task. If Charlie thought managing Massachusetts was tough, uh, wait till he gets gets into his new job. Uh, the NCAA is a complete mess right now. They cannot self-govern. Among the issues the governor will face, compensation for student athletes. He'll take the helm almost two years after the Supreme Court ruled colleges could not limit education-related payments to them. Still being debated is direct compensation for their performance. How do college athletes deal with agents? How do they deal with sponsorships? And he's got to get his hands around that because what we're hearing out there is the wild, wild west. It's an unconventional choice given the governor, a former Harvard basketball player, has no experience in college athletics at an administrative level. But for Boston College Athletic Director Blake James, that's a plus. I commend them for bringing someone from outside uh, the box to, to really come in, take a different look at what we're doing, and figure out, all right, how do we make this better? The governor says the jewel of the job will be shaping the college athletic experience, but he acknowledges himself the road he'll have to navigate. How do you figure out a way to build a platform and get the support for that platform given where everybody sits and stands. The NCAA says management skills and political savvy were all reasons to offer the governor the job, which he takes over next March. At the State House, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.